Hello everyone and welcome to another video for Detroit Become Human. This video here is going to be for the Zlatko Kara bad endings. So we're going to go over two of them and one of them has a secret ending at the very end of the game with like an evil Kara as people have been calling it on YouTube. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to escape the memory machine without losing your memory or the memory wiping machine and then I'm going to show you what happens when you don't escape and your memory gets wiped. And in each one of those circumstances, I'm also going to make it so Kara dies and never finds Alice. So, Kara keeps her memory, dies to Zlatko. Kara loses her memory, dies to Zlatko. The second one, where she loses her memory and then dies to Zlatko, causes a secret ending to trigger at the very end of the game. So you have to go quite a bit through the story after that happens to get an additional ending. So, without further introduction, here are the bad endings that you can get when you are at Zlatko's mansion. So I need to figure out how to escape. I don't know how to do that. I don't know where I touch it, but we're going to try to figure it out right here. But we start going through the process, right? Yeah, reset's happening already. So we got to wait for Zlatko to leave. And I got to start looking around. After having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me. Does anybody know which cable to use better off being right away? And feeling nothing. <laughs> no more pain. No more hopes dashed. Almost down to you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. You bit me. Ooh, good job, girl. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Kara, wake up, Kara! Hey, Luther. Meet me in the living room. Oh, Luther. All right, so we're gonna try kicking the cart, and then we're gonna try pulling on the green cable. First time I did this, I was just like, I had no idea what I was doing. I was just pulling on yellow cables and everything was bad. So find a way to escape. We're at 26 and it goes really fast. So push. Come on. Hey, we did something. Did I do anything? Okay. Now, now we're going to pull on a green cable. Green, 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 green. Come on. Did that do something? Hey, we're frying something. Is that it? Is that all you gotta do? Error, malfunction. I think we did it. That's all we had to do. Leverage self. Okay. Oh, wrong way. So yeah, I don't think we're getting reset anymore. I think we successfully got out of here. Nice! Never lost our memory. Perfect. So yeah, all you gotta do is push the cart and pull the green cable. I was doing it totally wrong the first time I tried. My memory got wiped. Memory corruption repaired. Nice! So, then you just go through trying to make sure that you, you know, <laughs> refind Alice and don't die. So, oh boy, I'm sure things will be a little bit different here. So, what'll be really interesting though is these guys won't talk to me in a, in a way where, oh, you lost your memory. You have to find it. I can talk to them differently now. Us. Well, let's open the cell. And these guys are a big deal later in the game if you end up getting captured. <laughs> but that's like towards the end of the game. But either way, this no. conversation should be different. This can't be happening. What can't be happening? He likes to play with us. Creating monsters. For his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. <coughs> and 
then we just leave, huh? But there you go. And now we just have to go and try to escape. But what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to, like, die and see what the dying scene looks like. So let's do that. So I'm just going to try to get caught here, like, right away. <gasps> oh, I almost wonder what happens if you don't catch Alice. Okay, so we have 10 minutes to go ahead and find Alice. <laughs> Should I just sit here for 10 minutes and just not do anything? We could do that. Let's see what happens if you don't do anything for 10 minutes, if... If that's just the end of the game. Can I talk to you? You must always obey the master. Oh, yes. What are you doing? Oh, my God. I can... You're not gonna hurt me. Oh. No. No. No, you wouldn't do that. I've never touched him before. Deal? Will you be quiet if I let go? Yes. Yes. I promise to be quiet. Don't turn me off. <laughs> You can turn him off! Oh no! I'm gonna shut him down. Oh god! I just ripped that right out of him! And I unlocked the path when I did that. I didn't know you could turn him off. I never tried talking to him before. Oh god, I feel dirty. I just ripped his heart right out. Alright, so now what we're doing right now is we are in Zlatko's place. We remembered who we- No, we didn't remember. We never forgot who we were. We broke the memory wiping machine before it wiped our memory. So we've just been sitting here for 10 minutes, waiting to see what happens if Kara knows who she is and then doesn't find Alice. All right, so we basically we've just been wasting our time for 10 minutes because it's really hard not to find Alice. So I don't know if we're gonna get shot. I don't know if we're gonna get hurt. We're also in the room with the bear and we freed the bear. So the bear might do something here too. I'm not sure. Never seen this before. Not sure what's gonna happen. I dismantled you from the start. Oh, okay. Time to rectify that mistake. Here's a little one, Zlatko. All right. Let's see what we can do with you. Come. And that's it. That's how Kara's story would end. She gets shot, and then who knows what he does to Alice. Oh, God. Creepy. <coughs> And then, what was the ending here? Luther brought Alice to Zlatko. So that's kind of what I figured. I figured that this was going to be the slot right here. And 0% of people have done that. So Luther brings Alice to Zlatko and he does who knows what. That's really creepy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reset. And I'm going to forget everything. And then I'm going to try to be evil. All right. So what we do now is we're going to make it so our memory gets wiped. Which means we don't try to fight this. Or we could try to fight it but then just like fail. But either way, we're going to let our memory get wiped. And we're going to lose everything. And then we're going to try to make it so we never get our memory back. And we'll see what that does in terms of an ending. What that does with Kara. How that affects the rest of the story. And there might even be a secret ending here, which is really cool. So let's check it out. All right, so here's the memory wipe. It's going to happen any second now. And there we go. We forgot everything. We don't know who we are. So in order to get this to happen, I'm not going to look at anything. Because part of what you do as Kara is you start trying to look at things to mem remember who you are and slowly you can piece it back together and the memory wipe becomes deactivated and you're back to being Kara again. So I'm going to go upstairs and just meet Luther in the living room like I was told. I'll be a good little android and see if that's it. See if we just end the game or what exactly we all do here. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous too just to see how goofy it is or how sad it is perhaps. I don't know. So, how's it going, Luther? So weird to see Luther, you know, under Zlatko's reign again. Take it up to you. Okay, so I'm just gonna obey everything. Yes, just gonna straight up obey. So the dinner is where is the dinner? Did I walk right past it? Is it on the table? <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, so here's dinner. And then, ooh, if I look at this, will I remember things? Yeah, okay, I can't be doing this. Do you want to find a safe place? Right. Somewhere you can start a new life. So, eventually what that'll say is my name is Kara. That little jumbled up thing of symbols right there. We have to stop doing that. We can't be looking at things, because she will remember. And in order for this ending, or whatever we're trying to do here, we don't want to remember anything. And I've never seen this before, so it's always really exciting when I'm trying things for the first time. And it's always exciting to see how you guys react in the comments, too, so... <clears throat> let's go and just, again, obey. 
obey, obey, and see what it turns into. Bring the food to Zlatko. Where is Easy right here? Yeah, he is. Uh, just set it down on the table over there. And I'm not gonna press L1 on anything, because I don't I don't want to remember anything. That's the big thing we're trying for right here. <clears throat> now get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. Ooh, I start remembering stuff anyway. Oh god. <clears throat> Did you hear what I said? I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I have to be really careful here. So, bring the carcass next door, and that is this carcass? Perfect. Luther! Luther! Yes, Lako. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Lako. Oh god, look at it climbing, or crawling. So, put down, here we go. So, ten minutes! And then, I'm guessing this is another thing where I just have to sit here and do nothing, right? Who is the little girl? Remember. So, I have ten minutes to remember, I'm guessing? Or do I have to do something else? I feel like if I sit here and walk around and remember, then that's gonna mess up this ending. So, I think I have to sit here for ten minutes and not do anything, and then that will force an ending where I don't know who Alice is, and then maybe I'll just remain as Lot goes duder here. What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh yes, you must always obey. <clears throat> so I can't really do anything to him, right? You have no business here. Because my memory's not wiped, so I have no reason to shut him up. I can't really do anything to him. That's interesting. Alright, so now we're on the final 10 seconds here for Kara's memory is erased, and then we never found Alice, which again, we just had to sit around for 10 minutes. So, let's see what happens now. That the timer's gonna be up and we don't know who she is. We don't know who Alice is. We don't know who we are. We don't even know that her name's Kara. We're just an android. There's a little one, Zatko. All right. Let's see what we can do with you. Save me, Kara. Please save me. Oh, will you shut up? Kara! Um. Kara! Oh, that's so sad. Oh, no! Hopefully we get Zlatko, though. We got the Zlatko ending, perfect. Oh god, she's so creepy. Uh, just set it down <gasps> on the table over there. Is that Alice? That's so sad, dude, 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 dude. So if you never play- Oh, you can get multiple cutscenes? Well, there answers that question. Well, we got this lot go ending. Thank God. But what's really interesting is I'm, it kind of looked like he was working on Alice, didn't it? But you wouldn't know that Alice is an android at that point if you would have gotten that ending. So that's kind of like a, that's kind of a secret little thing they put in there. You wouldn't actually know that that's the case unless you already played through it, which I think is really cool. So these were the bad endings for Zlatko and Kara. There's a bunch of stuff that I can do with Zlatko's mansion, but I wanted to keep it condensed enough so that we can kind of focus in on one area, meaning the evil ending for Kara, or like the evil Kara ending, secret ending, whatever you want to call it. And then... Other things I want to do as lot goes, I might just kind of do like an everything outcomes lot go video, but one thing I definitely want to do is investigate more with the dude in the bathtub. I think he could be interesting to see how he plays out, but if you guys have any other ideas for videos or you want to see anything else, let me know in the comments down below. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you'd like seeing these videos. They take a lot of work. I try to make it so I make them a little bit different than just a generic, this is what happens if you do this video. I try to put a little more personality into it. It takes a lot of time to re keep re-recording these things over and over and over again to see all these different outcomes. So if you guys appreciate that and enjoy that, like I said, go ahead and sub. Leave a like, that type of jazz. That way you can see these videos as I get them out. And I also live stream every single night at around 10 p.m. Eastern. I do it on YouTube, do it on Twitch, do it on Mixer. Depends on the night, so just make sure you're following on those platforms or on Twitter. That's a great way to know, too. And then I will see you guys in the next video that we do around here.